Hello. Let's do a problem. Hopefully it's easy because I'm a bit. It's gonna be a busy day. Uh, please, easy question, easy question. No, another locked. Come on, easy, easy, easy. Okay, that's good. Insuffic insufficient nodes in route to leaf paths. Given the root of a binary tree and an integer limit, delete all insufficient nodes in the tree simultaneously and return the root of the resulting binary tree. A node is inf insufficient if every root to leaf path intersecting this node has a sum strictly less than the limit. A uh, leaf is a node with no children. Uh, here a limit of one. One, two, four, eight. Uh, we sum that up and that's greater, still greater than limit, so that's fine. Wait, if every root to leaf path intersecting this node is strictly less than the limit. That means for this node here, 2, we have four paths going from the root to the leaf. This node 2 is only insufficient if all the paths, all of these paths, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 1, 2, 4, 9, 1, 2, minus 9, 9, 9. Oh yeah, okay, well, uh, if all of those paths have a, a sum less than uh, 1. But um, since it does have some paths that don't that that are greater than or equal to one, then we don't remove two. So um, what we could do is do a DFS. So the DFS would go down the tree and check out for each leaf node. Uh, what's the sum at each leaf node? We check if it's less than the limit. If it's less than the limit, then we can remove that node. You know what I could do? Is I could at the parent, so that the child returns a value saying, hey, remove me or don't remove me. And then at the parent, I'm like, child this my left child is telling me to remove it so i'll set it to null the current node should tell its parent um, to remove it depends on the current node's children yeah if the current node's children both say to remove it then that means we also renew remove the current node. so let's uh give that a go okay let's construct our own case where we have uh say one and we also have minus one minus one and the limit is one so that should return null this test case should return a null nice Say, for example, that this has an, a left child node that goes to 2, then only one node will be removed. Yeah, so you have 1 minus 1, null 2. So let's implement this. You have a void DFS, and I actually want to keep track of the limit here. Um, the DFS should actually return something. Should take in a tree node, and, and then if n is equal to null pointer, okay. So this is the kind of the base case. If it's null pointer, then should I return one or zero? If I return one, that means the leaf node will think it's children's telling me to remove it. No, I think the base case should be if detecting if it is a leaf node. So if n left, so if not this and not the right, then it's a leaf node. So we return the sum so far, which is should be another parameter. Return the sum plus nodes value. If this is less than, so strictly less than the limit, turn yes, return one, or that always return zero. All right, that's the base case. And then curse through. All right, if uh, not the left node, if left, int. So remove is initially true. So I want to remove, remove or equals the DFS of the left node and the sum plus equals to n value. If n right child move sum plus equals to the value, not or, um, should be and. Because if they're both telling me to remove, just return remove. The thing is, I haven't actually done the remove, so it would be left is equal to DFS of the left node sum plus the right node. The right. And then here I can say remove and equals to remove left. Here I could say move n equals to move right, return remove. But here I want to say if remove left, do n dot left is equal to null pointer. And here if remove right, then n right is equal to null pointer. So actually remove it. And then here do dfs, so return 
int remove is equal to DFS of the tree, the root node, and the sum so far, which is going to be zero. Or is it zero? Okay, I'll say return remove. Um, if it is one, then that means actually remove the root. So then do null pointer, otherwise return the root. Okay, that seems to work for that case. Um, let's try this. Okay, that seems to work. Okay, awesome. All right. Um, okay. I'm feeling good about it. Hopefully. Yeah, no. Uh, time complexity would be something. No, it would be, it's a, just a DFS, so it's going to be O of N. And space complexity is O of H, where H is the height of the tree. But in the case where it's an unbalanced tree, then you can have the tree as a single line down one side. Then in the worst case, it's O of N. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and uh, leave a like. Thanks. See you next time.